Hello and welcome to Loftus Road, home of QPR and today's venue for Norwich City Women versus QPR's Women. The hosts face a difficult task in the unbeaten Canary so far, but they're looking to do more than just win today. They're looking to inspire the next generation of young girls. The warm-up started around three quarters of an hour before kick-off, with both teams looking to be at their best before the big fixture. For our hoops players, it doesn't get any bigger than playing in front of the Loftus Road faithful at the home of Queen's Park Rangers. Whilst the day is about the football, the community is at the heart and centre of our club and it was fantastic to see so many new faces at the ground. With just one win in three home games so far this season, the R's would be looking to improve their record against an unbeaten Norwich side who come into this game top of the table. As the players walked out of the tunnel, they received a massive round of applause from the South Africa Road stand. Two captains shook hands with the officials before the match, deciding who would have kickoff and in what half. QPR started the game with the ball and it wouldn't be long until they made a big chance. Norwich did respond though with a close shave across the face of goal. but it would be the R's who would take the lead. The ball's picked up. Captain plays stroke through. Oh, that's a goal for QPR. That's 1-0. It was a fantastic ball by the skipper, Kasia Petter. She plays through the number nine. 1-0 QPR. The great start would be somewhat diminished by the visitors, pouncing on a mistake at the back. There's a chance here for Norwich City. The goalkeeper has been caught out there, QPR. And I think Francis Pannell might be in trouble. Does the referee deem that she was the last player there? Let's see what the referee does here. She calls the keeper over. And it's a red card! The QPR goalkeeper, Maya Francis Powell, has been sent off. And I think you can hear what the QPR fans think of that who are in attendance here today. Questions over whether she was the last woman in place there. But the referee has come to decision that she's walking down the tunnel. QPR would then look to hold on to the lead until half time, with great saves from standing keeper Joe Blodgett. But the resulting corner would be pivotal. The Norris City corner is whipped in, but it's headed away very strongly. Back to the corner taker, who whips the ball in once again. And it's an equaliser. Well, it did feel inevitable after that red card. The goalkeeper tried her best on the first clearance, but the second ball came in.
Norwich then had more of the ball in the second half, but still struggled to create chances against the home team until the 64th minute. It's now done the other end, Natasha Snellen. Oh, and that's a fantastic finish. Ellie Smith, the attacking midfielder. Well, the ball was down the right-hand side there for Natasha Snellen. She drew the defenders over and squared it to her mate, who then, with the outside of her foot, placed the ball into the bottom corner. And it's now 63 minutes in. And Norris have taken the lead. It's now 2-1. And QPR look to go again. With the score still close, the R's pushed forward despite the number disadvantage on the pitch. The chances kept coming, especially down the left-hand side with Ellie Searle. But in the end, Norwich came away with the spoils. A very hard fourth 2-1 victory. Both sets of fans could appreciate the performances on the pitch. We then caught up with the boss, Steve Quashy, to get his thoughts on the game. Uh, Steve, what did you think of today? Nearly 2,000 fans here at Loftus Road. Uh, fantastic support from the, from the fans. Yeah, what a wonderful occasion it was for, for female football and also for, for our supporters that see that you know, we've got a very strong women's and girls' programme. You know, a lot of fans that came today uh, would have seen players that have progressed through the system, players that they can connect with, and also players from local area as well. So, yeah, a wonderful occasion and one that they'll cherish, I'm sure, for the rest of their lives. For someone like you who's been nearly supporting this sort of move for ten, two decades, it's, it's fantastic to see. Um, so it was a great start to the game, went 1-0 up against the league leaders, and then there was the sending off. Uh, have you got any thoughts on that? Yeah, actually, um, <laughs> the game plan worked, an absolute treat. Um, we started off the game really well on the front foot, uh, won the ball in high areas, circulate the ball when we had possession of it, and made some smart runs into the penalty box and got a deserved goal. Um, with the, the penalty, sorry, with the, the sending off, the goalkeeper has come out. In my professional opinion, there was a covering centre half. The striker's gone away from goal. I think it's a yellow card, and I feel the keeper. I think it's a harsh decision to, to give her a red, which changed the game. But the thing is, what's positive is, I thought we finished the first half the stronger team, playing the better football, and the second half the players gave everything they possibly could, and I'm so proud of them. Gave everything. Discipline, work rate, determination, desire, and nearly came away, nearly came away with a positive result. Fantastic. And then, um, even though there was defeat today, the goalkeeper that stepped in, Joe Blodgett, I mean, fantastic couple of saves from her. You must be really proud as the boss. Yes, I certainly am. I mean, joe has been with us uh, for a few years now, and she's always, whenever she's called upon to go in goal in an emergency situation, she performed really well in the sticks. It's always a sacrifice taking one of your stronger defensive players out of the unit, um, but she certainly made some cracking saves, played out well from the back and, and gave the players in front of her an added boost at necessary times. And ultimately, it did end in defeat today, but you saw the fans show up, you heard them, I'm sure you did. How fantastic is it that the young fans out there, they, they're inspired by that performance, well, working hard in 10 against 11? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, that was our best performance here at the stadium since I've been manager. And I'm sure the supporters will walk away thinking, yeah, I want some more of that. I'll come back and support QPR women and get really behind us because the noise they made was incredible. The singing, the chanting, you know, the atmosphere that they created was electrifying at times. And I'm so delighted to have that behind us today because it felt like we had an extra player on the pitch. And I know it's a cliche, but the players said the same thing, especially the last 10 minutes. We really gave for the win, changed the formation, made some sacrifices, played three at the back with 10 players. And Norwich won the back foot and put players back in defensive areas because they could they could see that there was a threat that we, we posed. 